Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we take the log on both sides. At this here, we have log 8 raised to the power x equals to log 48 on this side. The next step here, we apply the power law of logarithm. At this, when we have log m raised to the power p, it's the same thing as p log m. At this year, this becomes x log x equals to log 48 on this side. The next step, we divide both side by log 8. At this, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8, which implies here log 8 cancelled each other. And you are left with x, which is equal to log. 48 over log 8. The next step here, we can rewrite 48 as 8 times 6. Then what we have left become x equals to log 8 times 6 over log 8. Then, from what we have here, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this same thing as log a plus log b. That is, yeah, this becomes x equals to log 8 plus log 6 over log 8. Then next step, we separate this into two fractions. As we have x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 6 over log 8, which implies here yeah, log 8 cancel each other. And we have x equals to 1 left here, that is 1 plus log 6 over log 8 then next step here we can write 6 as 2 times 3 and what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 3 over log 8 then this also follows on the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 3 over log 8. Then, also, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 3 over log 8. Then, next step here, we can express 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 cubed. Then, what we have here becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 cubed plus log 3 over log 2 cube. Then we apply the power of logarithm here. 3 comes there and also here. And we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 3 over 3 log 2, which implies here. We have log 2 cancelled each other and 1 over 3 left here. That is x equals to 1 plus 1 over 3, then plus here also arises as 1 over 3 multiplied by log 3 over log 2. That is from here 1 plus 1 over 3, same thing as 1 over 1 over 3, which is the same thing as 4 over 3. That is, what we have becomes x equals to 4 
over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 over log 2. Then here we apply change of base. At this one we have log A over log B, which is the same thing as log A to base B. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 base 2. And also, we can bring this together as one fraction. That is, we have x equals to the SM here. That's 3. And here we have 4 plus log 3 base 2. That is, the value of x here we have 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. Then let's check here if we satisfy this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. And what we have becomes 8 raised to power 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 48 on this side? Then, in here, we can express it as 2 raised to power 3. That is, we have 2 raised to power 3. Then, all raised to power 4 plus log 3 is 2 all over 3 is it equals to 48 on this side then yeah this power multiplies and this 3 here cancel each other and we have 2 raised to power 4 plus log 3 is 2 is it equals to 48 on this side then here we apply the law of indices when we have a raised to power m plus n is same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is, here we have 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power log 3 base 2. This is equals to 48 on this side. 2 raised to power 4 implies 2 multiply itself 4 times, that's 16. Then seems here follows. When we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. That this here, this same thing as 3, is it equals to 48 on this side. And 16 times 3, of course, give us 48, which is equals to 48 from here. That this left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 4 plus log 3 raised to all over 3 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.